Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, July 5th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the uh, Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we had a quite a rally on Friday. We're up with 0.45%. And at this moment, it looks like we're going to test the middle of the Bollinger Band. So that is a rally of another give or take 0.75% until we re reach just underneath the 100 moving average. So this is also where we found the massive resistance in the past. And probably the main reason why we are rallying here is because we were significantly oversold and we were running into major support here at the 200 moving average. So the question is whether or not we rally up towards the 100 moving average and then break down or that we basically break above the 50 and go to these previous highs here. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish and the RSI is bullish. The CCI is bearish and the stochastic is still bearish territory has not crossed the signal line. Probably this will all change on Monday session if we continue rounding up towards the 100 moving average. Break below the 200 moving average and then we could drop all the way down to the 300 down here at the 30, 1352. Uh, so you can see that we are we were at the base at the bottom of the bullish band and we were all sold. So a rally was always expected, but still look at this. It's pretty much in a downtrend and nothing really has changed here. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. So this also pulled back and it was also about time, as I pointed out several times in the last two weeks. Um, this tends to pull back quite aggressively towards the bottom of the bullish band or towards the middle of the bullish band when it gets uh, fairly overstretched. We saw it right here, fell to the bottom, here, fell to the middle, fell to the middle, and the same could be expected this time that this falls towards 110 uh, before uh, continuing this uh, this rally. We are pretty much in uh, uptrend here. It is a uh, fairly nice upward looking channel. And as long as we continue staying within this channel, then we are mostly just going to continue higher. We also approach, we have broken above the previous highs here so it is more likely that we'll continue this rally to the upside so pullbacks will most do the worst of 20 exponential 40 probably 50 will all most likely be bought into if you look at technical indicators we can see that the rsi is no longer overbought so the, the macd is very bullish still cci is bullish and the stochastic is bullish as well so it'll be interesting what happens when we get to the 20 exponential whether or not we just continue uh, this rally to the upside. US dollar did depreciate on on Friday, and of course that had major effects on these currency pairs. So Euro US dollar, Euro is looking very weak indeed. We did fall towards uh, 1185, uh, and then rallied, but still we are way underneath the um, 300 moving average, and these moving average are all crossing. So that is not a very good sign for this currency pair so it may well be good for for us indices like the or like the dax for example much cheaper to buy european goods and european exports will therefore increase and um, that should basically be very good for european stocks european company as a whole um if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is still very bearish the rsi is turning around it's just above overbought uh oversold conditions CCI is negative, so is the stochastic, and um, we could see this rally up towards the middle of the bullish band. But in a way that this is behaving at this moment, I would not um, be surprised if we just fall significantly lower. We did break below these previous lows here and rally up towards the 20 exponential right here at 11.95. They will most likely be sold into. So, Aussie dollar, US dollar, this completely turned around on Friday, but we had six consecutive days of this basically just depreciating. And um, at this current stage, it looks like we are going to try to test the middle of the bullish band. It is just above the 20 exponential. Um, if we basically get rejected at 20 exp exponential, then it's very likely that will just drop and continue going lower. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish. The RSI is bullish, the CCI is uh, bearish as well, and stochastic is also bearish. So 
momentum is still to the downside, even though we had this quite a nice rally on Friday of 0.87% to the upside. So US, US dollar, Canadian dollar, this fell like a rock on Friday, down 0.85%. And it was also just about time. So both for the, the Great British Pound, Euro, and also the Aussie and the Canadian, all of those were significantly overstretched, either to the upside or downside. And, um, and um, therefore, you see also the massive movement in, in these uh, currency pairs. So we found support at the 20 exponential, and the question is whether or not we managed to break below here. Last time we were at the 20 exponential, we've basically been bouncing off it. And um, and at this current stage, momentum is probably more to the downside. We can see the MACD is about to cross the signal line. RSI is negative. CCI is becoming negative. Sto stochastic as well. So if we break below the middle of the bullish band here, then we could see a massive drop towards... Um, towards um, the bottom of the bullish band that could be but if we start rallying from here then we're most likely going to test the 150 moving average again the 200 and then just continue higher so hope you find this helpful you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much